Hello again and welcome to Sullivan's Farm. Quick midweek video here. Uh, some of the calves you didn't see on Sunday are the four that I picked out from the bunch of 30 that for one reason or another uh, didn't do so well. And they just needed that extra little bit of space, extra little bit of TLC and, and time to, to eat their few cubes every day. So we'll have a quick look at those here. And uh, when we're in this field at all, we'll show you our first attempt at multi-species swords and, and what, what it looks like now, uh, unfortunately, two years later. But it was a good learning process, I suppose. So here are the few calves. I'll try and turn the camera around before they, they run away. Um, oops, four of them there. One whitehead, two Angus, and uh, the little cemental one you see at the back there. Um, there's nothing really wrong with them as such. They're, they're just that little bit small. I wouldn't be overly concerned about any of them. The cubes and the, the, I suppose they're out on their own with the last fortnight. So the, the extra cubes that they're getting, or, or not the extra that they're getting, but getting the chance to eat their fill uh, seems to have made a bit of a difference to them. Um, so thankfully the intervention has worked so far and we'll we'll go from there I, I don't know if these will ever be outwintered like the other ones they they might go into a shed into the new shed on straw from from day one but we'll see how they go they're coughing one of them is is coughing a little bit too so i might um i don't plan on giving the the other bigger ones a vaccination for pneumonia but i might do the four of these we'll have a chat with the vet maybe later in the week and come up with a plan from there but but that's them um the field itself then I don't know if you can see there's a, an awful lot of ducks and very little multi-species outside of that um, left in it now a few bits here and there but it was a, a field it's not far from the one you would have seen the first day that's that's now covered in clover a uh, similar type of ground there there was rushes and thistles and and docks everywhere here so we we did a bit of um, a repair job on it cleaned out the drains they're over there behind the calves and this is part of the forestry we planted in 2015 and it made access to the field very difficult so it was hard to do anything um, when we were starting to clear the drains then what we ended up doing um, was putting in a new little bridge that we're just going to walk up to now um, put down a, a big black pipe in the ground to let the, the water flow covered it with stone and um, we've we've gone from there so since then it's it's been a completely different type of field to work with the multi-species was was fine maybe for a couple of months but the issue I, I guess was the establishment of it and the fact that we couldn't use a post-emergence spray uh, to, to control the docks after that. And I guess a bit of inexperience on, on my behalf uh, certainly didn't help either. But it didn't put me off the multi-species. I, I think it's, it's all about the, the establishment and, and how it gets set up and how it gets managed. So we might touch on that on the weekend video. And if, if, if any experiences of establishing multi-species swords or managing them, uh, throw it into the, the comments below. And lastly then, a uh, quick word to say thanks to Farmer Phil. I, I watched one of his videos last night on how he makes all his videos. Um, himself and his partner are, are doing a, a real professional job and it was an insight to see just how much work goes into really getting professional looking videos out there. And I, I hopefully I picked up a few tips and tricks along the way as well. So we'll we'll see. The content mightn't improve here on this channel, but hopefully the production, the sound and then the, the fading in, the fading out and all that might improve over time. So thanks to Farmer Phil for that. And as I said, if you want to click like and subscribe or our notifications or whatever it is below, by all means do. And uh, we'll talk to you the weekend. So thanks very much. Good luck.